Today's episode is sponsored by Regen Ag Lab. Regen Ag Lab is the lab that we trust. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for making this video part of your day. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how much time we spend making compost extract. So, like, if you're thinking about adding compost extract to your operation and getting it in, I, I wanted people to think about how much extra time is this going to take me to make the extract um, when we're planting corn and getting it in furrow. So it is six o'clock, and so we're kinda gonna show a video of how long it takes to, to do everything. Okay, so the first thing I gotta do is I gotta turn the pump on, get water in our Bio5 extractor, turn that valve on, turn the pump on. Have this much water in it we're going to go get our compost all right guys the first batch of stuff that we're getting is bio 5 it's in these tote bags over here so I'm gonna grab that So the first compost that we're going to use is Bio 5 and Fed and Happy mixed together. I'm gonna to dump that in the top of the extractor. All right, so I just filled the extractor full of two and a half buckets of Soilworks' product called Bio 5. And then I filled it half full or two and a half buckets of Fed and Happy. So um, we use 120 pounds of compost to make 500 gallons of extract. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm brewing enough to make 500 gallons of extract. We'll load that on the trailer and I'm gonna brew enough to get 500 uh, gallons of extract, but we're gonna use just Johnson Sioux. All right, so now it's 6.20. It shouldn't have taken me that long, but it did. So I'm setting my timer at 6.40. We'll start the extraction process. Okay, in the 20 minutes I have while I'm waiting for this compost to break down, I'm gonna start filtering our Johnson Sioux compost so it's ready to go inside the, the extractor. Okay, so this is how our filtering process works. Got the screen down in the bottom okay once the compost looks like it's just straight wood chips left in there then i dump it out into our our bin all right we broke some of our johnson sioux compost down in these bins uh, but it's been 20 minutes, so now I'm going to start running the extract that has the Bio 5 and the Fed and Happy onto the trailer. So we have the air blowing through the bottom. Uh, the water is being, the fresh water is being pumped on from the side. That creates the spinning kind of vortex as it's being sucked off on this outside pump. And then that goes through that blue filter into the trailer. While we'll pump that on good so compost. Okay guys, we got a little bit more than five gallons. It took about 15 minutes to fill up the tank. Uh, it is 6.53 right now. Okay, that occasionally happens where it plugs up and it won't drain out. So I'm going to um, uh, take a broomstick or something and push it down in there to get the compost to flow out. That usually doesn't happen with Bio 5 and Fed and Happy, but sometimes it does. Okay, if I'm cleaning this machine out for good to really clean it, then I'm gonna get all of the black stuff down in the sides cleaned out. But since I'm gonna make more compost right now, I leave it in there because I want that bio residue in there when I'm making my next 
batch of compost. Okay, so it's 7.23, dad just loaded up the pickup, or hopped in the pickup and is taking it to the field uh, to start corn planting. So it takes an hour and 20 minutes to get a thousand gallons made. The day we made this video, I didn't think I needed to go through and film me brewing the Bio 5 and Fed and Happy and then also the Johnson Sioux. So that's how I got to the 1,000 gallons. It's 500 gallons of both Fed and Happy and Bio 5 brewed at the same time, and then 500 gallons of Fed and Happy, and then I put that on the trailer. Uh, right now, it looks like I'm gonna be making compost for him all day. I'm kind of trying to train Caleb. He just got out of school um, so that I can get planting. I don't know that I'll get started planting, but we'll kind of monitor the day and see how it goes. Uh, right now, I'm trying something different. Um, I'm leaving my Johnson Sioux in there and letting it brew longer. I think there's more compost in there that can be extracted. And so I wanna make sure that we get every bit of use out of that Johnson Sioux. Um, once we make it, um, I'll kind of look at it and see uh, how well it does that 500 gallons and see if it looks like it's the same consistency and thickness of the other stuff. Okay, I just got the guy that works for me lined up uh, to build pasture for us today. And I just hopped in the planter. Um, to plant Milo. So I'm gonna plant Milo until dad needs more extract and then I'll go back to the house, get Caleb and Caleb will help me. I'm trying to teach him how to make extracts so that um, you know I, I can rely on Caleb to do stuff. It's, it's a little hard though. He's not legal to drive, um, but I'm trying to get him to at least be able to know how the, the whole process of making compost extract. So I'm gonna get this Milo field planted. As soon as dad calls me, I'll stop planting Milo and come back to the farm, make extract for him, take, a, take him extract. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. I just got a call from dad that he is got the tank empty. And so we're gonna run home and uh, make some more compost extract for him. And then I'll come back to the planter and continue to plant Milo. It is 10 a.m. Okay guys, so that first thousand gallons of compost that we made, uh, the first 500 gallons was Bio 5 and Fed and Happy's product mixed together. And the second 500 gallons was just our straight Johnson Sioux. Now, instead of cleaning out the bottom of the extractor, what I did was is I uh, took just one more bucket of Johnson Sioux and I dumped it in there and I've let this extract for two hours. So it's a leftover, first 120 pounds of Johnson Sioux that's been in there for a long time and one fresh bucket. And the reason I've done this, let me climb up here. The reason I've done this is because I noticed one time I didn't have a chance to clean this out and I let it sit uh, for a couple hours and after it had already been extracted and there's a ton of thick residue in the, it, the um, gets extracted even after that first extraction process. So I thought, well, I need to just see how that does and how much more residue comes out. So this has been extracting for two hours. Um, we're gonna make another 500 gallons and look at the consistency and uh, run it on there. Um, this is where I wish I was good at uh, microscopy. My, micro I still can't say the word, but anyway, uh, I looked at it under a microscope to see. Uh, I, right now, I'm just guessing. I don't recommend you guys do this. This is just something I'm trying. So we're going to make this 500 gallons, then we'll clean it out, and then we'll make 500 gallons more with the Fed and Happy and the Bio 5. Okay, so we're done extracting uh, our first 500 gallons uh, for that, the our second batch of compost for my dad planting corn. Um, and we got to clean out the lick tubs to when we're going to drain the leftover Johnson Sioux. Now the lick tubs are still full of the bio five and the fed and happy from earlier this morning. So what we're going to do is we'll clean these lick tubs or we'll, we'll separate the compost extract from the compost. We'll pour that in the top of the tank. Um, and then once we get the compost, we'll put it in the lick tubs where or the, the lick tubs and the, the containers we're saving it in and then we'll drain this out and we'll separate that while and we'll drain this out start the bio five and uh fed and happy brewing for this the second batch of or our 500 gallons to go on this trailer 
um, and we'll start that brewing and then we'll clean out and separate the extract from the Johnson Sioux leftover compost. Clear as mud. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to save as much out of the top of this as I can so it doesn't plug up the the the, the exit uh, drain uh, the drainage hose on the bottom. So I'm going to scoop that out with a bucket real quick uh, while Caleb records me. Follow it out. This is the Johnson Sioux leftover stuff that we want to save, um, you know, and add wood chips to it for next year and stuff to see how that goes. Okay, my phone died, so I wasn't able to record the end of filling up the tank, but I've got another thousand gallons of extract. Um, it's half Johnson Sioux, and then whatever that would be, 25% fed and happy and 25% um, uh, Bio 5. So, Anyway, um, my phone's recording now. Sorry for the shaky cam. Uh, it is 11 something. 12, oh yeah, 11.30. So it took me about an hour and a half to do that. Okay guys, I'm back to planting Milo. I got dad all the compost extract that he needed uh, for the day. Uh, he ended up needing 12, let's see, 2,200 gallons of compost. Um, he is planting 45 acres an hour, and he's doing eight gallons an acre, so he's doing roughly 300 and, I don't know, 300 and some gallons. I'm not able to do the math right now in my head, but anyways, he's doing 300 and some gallons uh, of compost extract an hour. And so, anyway, we got him set up. I wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys if you're going to make compost extract to do it in burrow on your corn acres and some of your milo acres, if you're putting it on in burrow, um, then you need to consider that, like, you're going to need an extra guy at least working half a day to make the compost extract to keep your machine going all day long. Uh, on our milo right here, I'm making another video. I don't know when it's going to come out, but I've already basically filmed it. I filmed the video of us treating the Milo that I'm planting right now with compost extract. So that video actually came out last week. So this video was filmed almost two weeks ago. Tomorrow it'll be two weeks ago that I filmed this. And I really wanted to show you guys what it was like for to make compost extract. Uh, you have to have a guy that's at least devoting half of his day to making compost extract. So if you're an operation like ours that farms... 8,000 acres and you have, you know, over 2,000 acres of wheat and Milo, or sorry, over 2,000 acres of corn and Milo going in. Um, it's not really realistic uh, to think you can get that done with one or, I mean, it, like for us, we run a drill and a planter um, to get this in. And so, and I've got other cover crops to plant. You know, I've got four quarters of uh, cover crops to plant as well and I've planted most of that most got most of the milo that I need to get planted done uh, Dad still has some milo to plant my point in making this video was showing you It, it takes time to make the extract, but it's, it's well worth it um, So what we've discovered and what you'll probably discover as you start pursuing soil health Things are going to change on your farming operation and you just have to be aware of that um, and realize you know, that the time it takes, um, you know, and it, it's just, it's a completely different game. If you live in Iowa, you know, and you farm less acres than us, um, 
you know, it, it may not be that big of a switch, but if you were like in Western Kansas and you farm just a lot more acres to get by, um, you know, it, it's just something that you got to be aware of. Um, so anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, we got a lot of other stuff coming for you, but if you have any thing that you want to see a YouTube video on, uh, make a comment in the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see on our farming operation. Uh, I hope this YouTube video was helpful and uh, keep pursuing soil health. Peace out.